Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Laura from Fountaindale Library. Today I have a special, special story time for you. Now why is it special? Well, you may not know this, but this year, 2020, it is the 50th birthday of Fountaindale Public Library. So I thought we should celebrate by having a special happy birthday um, story time today. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the sign language sign for happy birthday. Now, there are many different versions of how to say happy birthday in sign language, but I'm going to show you the easiest one. So you wiggle that middle finger of, your, of this hand, and you're going to touch your chin, and then you're going to ch touch your heart. T chin and heart. Happy birthday. Okay, so here we go. Let's move our birthday cake out of the way. And our first story today is called A Birthday for Cow. So here we go. This is by Jan Thomas. Today is Cow's birthday. Yippee! Pig and Mouse are going to make Cow the best birthday cake ever. Cake? This duck. Look at how happy they are. They put flour and sugar and eggs in a big bowl. And a turnip? Wait a minute. Do turnips go into birthday cake? Uh, no, duck. We will not put in a turnip. Huh. Next, they mix it all together with a turnip, says duck. Oh, duck with a spoon. Stir it with a spoon. Then they put it in the oven. Can a turnip go in too? Says duck. Ugh, these guys are getting so frustrated. And they ice and they decorate the cake. And on top they put, I know. What do you think he's going to put on that cake? A turnip. No turnips, duck. Candles! Candles are what go on top of the cake. Look, here comes Cow now. So exciting. Happy birthday, Cow! Look at how excited they are. Is that what I think it is? Oh boy, this is going to be the best birthday ever! Says Cow. A turn up! Oh, how do you think these guys feel? How do you think they feel? Look at how sad they are. They made that lovely cake and cow just wants that turnip. Mmm, delicious! This cow. Good cake, he says finally. Burp. Sometimes I brush my teeth using a turnip. Really? Me too, says cow. The end. So Kyle was kind of partial for turnips. That's pretty funny. Okay, now we're going to do a little rhyme. I'm going to put on my little glove here. It's a little bit hard to do. But okay, so how many birthday candles do you see on our cake? One, two, three, four, five. Five birthday candles glowing still and bright. We sang happy birthday, then blew out the light. <gasps> and out goes one of the candles. How many are left? Why, there's one, two, three, four. Four birthday candles, glowing still and bright. We sang happy birthday, and blew out the light. <gasps> oh, there goes another one. How many are left? Three birthday candles, glowing still and bright. We sang happy birthday and blew out the light. <gasps> How many are left? Two. Two birthday candles glowing still and bright. We sang happy birthday and blew out the light. <gasps> uh -oh. One birthday candle glowing still and bright. We sang happy birthday and blew out the light. <gasps> oh, goodness. How many are left now? No birthday candles 
now our rhyme is through. We blew out all the candles, and now our wish comes true. The end. Very good. So now, the next story we have is really a cool story. It's called The Secret Birthday Message by Eric Carle. Now, I'm going to pull in these little shapes right here because it's all about the shapes in our Secret Birthday Message by Eric Carle. All right, here we go. On the night before Tim's birthday, he found a strange envelope under his pillow. He sat up straight in his bed and opened the letter. Inside was a secret message. And this is what it said. So here we go. When the hmm comes up, I'm going to point to these um, shapes up here, okay? When the hmm comes up, Look for the biggest hmm. Below it, you will see a hmm. Behind that is the hmm. Go in. Look up to find a hmm. Crawl through it. Go down the hmm. Interesting. Walk straight ahead to a hmm. Open it, and you will see a hmm. Climb up and through, and that's where you'll find your birthday gift. Happy birthday. So let's see. When the moon comes up, that's what that shape is. When the moon comes up, look for the biggest star. That's right, star. Below it, below the star, you will see a, hmm, what is that? It's a rock. It's a big rock. Behind the rock, that is the entrance to a cave. So what shape is that? What shape is that? That is a triangle, right? So you're looking for a triangle. Now we're going to go into the cave. Look up to find a round opening and they want you to crawl through it. So that's a, what? A circle. That's right. right. Crawl through the circle and you go down the, now what are these? Those are stairs, right? Down the stairs. Walk straight ahead to a door, or a rectangle in this case is the shape. Right ahead to the door, open the door, and you will see an opening. Now this opening is shaped like this. It's like a rectangle, just like the door. You'll see an opening, climb up and through. That's where you'll find your birthday gift. Can you guys guess what it is? Can you see through the window? Climb up through. Oh! Happy birthday, it says. It's a little puppy dog in a basket. Nice. What a great birthday present. Now it says, can you find your way back? So we're going to take a look at this picture. This is all the directions that we followed. Here's the, the moon, rather. And then look for the star. And beneath the star was the rock. Behind the rock was the triangle or the opening to the cave. And then crawl through a circle. Go down some stairs. Go to the door and open it. And then climb up the ladder. And there's a little opening, a little rectangle. And it was through there that you found your Happy birthday! The secret birthday message. The end. Very good. All right. Now, to finish out our story time, Miss Laura is going to do a little puppet show. This puppet show is called Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. It's by Charlotte Zolotow. I'm pronouncing her name right. So, in this story, it's about Mr. Rabbit and a little girl. Miss Laura has some issues with grabbing things, so I might have to take my puppet off my hand. But here we go. Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely Present. Oh, dear. Mr. Rabbit, I want your help. Well, okay. I'll give you some help if I can. It's about my mother. Your mother? Hmm. 
Oh, a gift for her birthday, right? I presume so. That's right. That's just it. I need some help. I have nothing to give her. Something that she likes is a good present. Well, she likes red. Like this dress she made me. Red. Well, you can't give her red. Oh, something red, maybe. Well, what is red? Well, let's see. Now, there's red underwear. Long underwear, I mean. No, no, I can't give her that. Well, there are red birds. Cardinals, they're called. No, 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 no. She likes birds and trees. Well, there are red fire engines. No, no, she doesn't like fire engines. Well, there are apples. Oh, that's good, that's good, yeah, yeah. She likes apples, let's see. Let's grab this apple. Sorry, boys and girls. My grip isn't what it's supposed to be. So we're gonna have that apple right there. Good, good. That's good, she likes apples. But I need something else. Oh, what else does she like? Well, she likes yellow. Yellow, well, you can't give her yellow. Just yellow. Well, let's see, uh, what is yellow? Well, how about the sun? The sun is yellow. I can't give her the sun, though I would if I could. A canary bird is yellow. No, 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 no. She likes birds and trees, remember? That's right, that's right, you told me that. Bananas are yellow. Oh, that's great. Yes, yes, I'll get her banana. Banana. Well, what else does she like? Let's see. Uh, I need something else. Um, well, she likes green. Well, green. You can't give her green. Emeralds are green. They're lovely. But I can't afford an emerald. Well, then, let's see. Uh, parrots are green. Oh, but she doesn't like birds. But she likes birds and trees, I forgot. No, no, no. A parrot won't do. What about a lime? Oh, she likes limes. Yes, indeed. I think that's what I add to my pile here. The very thing. Yes, yes, yes. Now I have apples, an apple, a banana, and a lime. But... I need something else. Oh, well, what else? What else does she like? She likes purple and blue. Well, you can't give her purple and blue. Well, something purple and or blue would do. Let's see. Lakes are blue. Ah, but I can't give her a lake. Stars are blue. Oh, I can't give her stars, but I would if I could. Ah, bluebirds are blue. But I remember now, she likes birds in the trees, right? Hmm, how about grapes? Oh, that's a great idea. She loves grapes. So, I'm going to grab these grapes right here. I'm going to add that to my pile. Yes, that's good, that's good. She loves grapes. Let's see, now I have an apple, a banana, a lime, and some grapes. Wonderful. That makes a very good gift. All you need now is a basket. Oh, I have the very thing. She grabs her basket. So she's gonna put in her fruit. She's gonna have a lovely present for her mother. Look at that. She takes her basket, she fills it up with her apple, 
banana, grape, and lime. And it made a lovely, lovely gift. Thank you so much for your help, Mr. Rabbit. Not at all, not at all. Happy to help, happy to help. Now goodbye, and happy birthday to your mother. The end. The perfect birthday book. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that, my friends, is our story time for today. Now, I just want to add one more thing to our story time. Whoops. I want to invite you to write a birthday card and send it to Fountaindale Public Library. I'm going to put the address up on the screen here in a minute, but if you send the letter in the mail after you put on a stamp of course we will get it here at the library and we can display it here in the children's department so feel free to send us a birthday card as we are celebrating 50 years of Fountaindale Public Library. I hope you enjoyed our story time today my friends have a good one see you soon <laughs>